Hi, I'm Joya Dakari. I'm the writer performer of Truth Values. Welcome to the next in our series of videos about our tour to MIT. This one features an interview with Giliola Stafalani, who was among the math faculty at MIT when they were first surprised by the existence of my play. Please enjoy. So last year, I guess, when we learned that there would be this play, um, I personally was a, a little bit uh, um, concerned that there will be um, something that will only will be only centered on the relationship with the students versus MIT versus the math department and uh, how uh, this uh, female student was treated. And since I was a uh, uh, more or less around that time, a little bit later, University of Chicago, which is a very, very similar situation. And I thought that although the situation is, was very negative, um, I was hoping to see something different in the play. The people that I talked to, they, they loved it. And I think there was a, like, I was not the only one afraid that will emphasize only the negative parts of the department. Actually, I wasn't here at the time, right? So I didn't feel like it was my fault if that happened. But I guess many of my colleagues were, you know, thought that they were responsible for that and it was not a positive feeling about it. But uh, um, after seeing the play, they, um, of course, they still felt responsible, but they felt like it was more uh, an awareness situation and not necessarily like a feeling uh, of guilt that uh, was not productive in a sense. So um, and they were all very happy. I went to see the play and I was really happy when uh, I realized that uh, of course all these issues that are, are very concerning and still now and certainly at that time even more um, uh, about women and math and faculty with prevalently male faculty and so on. Although they were there, they were not the only part of the play. And this personal journey is the one that really captured my attention. And, and somehow I think it was very important because uh, uh, mathematicians are often, often seen as, male or female, um, often seen as people who don't have feelings somehow. And uh, for women, I think it's even more important that it's known out there that uh, you can be a mathematician and have feelings at the same time. So I was very happy that uh, um, the message that I took home was that maybe people can disagree with this, but I think that uh, it just gave a lot of dimension to a mathematician. Then it was a woman mathematician, so even more so, but I really liked that point of view. Maybe I'm a little bit um, too optimistic, but I think our department, just if you just look at the math department, it's uh, is probably ahead of the curve compared to other departments in the country in at least having realized what the problems are. The issues that come with the women scientists that are objective issues can be addressed kind of quickly. In fact, in the last 10 years, we addressed quite a lot of them and many of them were solved. The question now is uh, are about issues that are more generated by, um, I would say, that are less quantitative but just as important. Um, so the role of, of women in science and family and uh, the role of women um, in an environment where there are lots of men, very few women, what's the what's a critical mass, how do we define that, we don't have a uh, we cannot quantify it in numbers necessarily, but it's more like when the feelings start being right, when one feels like it's welcome, well, in a welcoming environment and all that. So what I think the play will do is to maybe emphasize even more this aspect of the problem, which at the moment I think is really what's hard to solve and what one should con concentrate on. But I think it's this, the play here uh, will make a difference also for students. I hope that they attend, they see it, and they, and they see how even at that time when the situation was pretty bad, um, somehow women, women in this case, but also the body of students somehow got, you know, got the strength together and made something successful out of it. So it's a message, for me, it's a message of success, even in a situation that uh, could not be considered a very positive one. The play, I think, will certainly address the question of, in particular, this woman in a graduate school, but also will um, explicitly 
tell people how many different um, issues come together to then make a woman successful in whatever career.